Just got done making kind of some rice cereal, and I'm going to be adding the Earth's Best Banana Blueberry Baby Food Puree into there. I like uh, him eating cereal in the morning mixed with some kind of fruit, and he enjoys it well as well. So, do that, and of course, he's going to have his sippy cup with water. <laughs> Yesterday, we went to Connor's Mama and Papa's, and we had a cookout. Most delicious burgers ever on the grill, and we had these little potatoes that um, his mama made, Diane, and they were delicious. So good. Um, if I find out her recipe, I will probably make it in the kitchen video because they were just so delicious. Um, anyways, I wanted to show some new things I got for Connor and a little bit of a grocery haul. I did get him these another pack of these pouch spoons, one for the diaper bag and one for the kitchen drawer um, for these little pouches. He's starting to eat more pouches. They're very convenient on the go. When he first started foods, um, he ate quite a bit of pouches. Um, now it's just become very convenient to pop them in diaper bags so i've been buying more um they started carrying earth's best at walmart at my walmart and i got banana blueberry which he just had for breakfast loved it and i got apple sweet potatoes pumpkin and blueberries and when he first started foods he loved this one i just stopped buying it um i got these cereal bars for him to try they say um Stands alone, begins to walk alone, self-feeds easily with fingers, bites through a variety of textures. He does all of those. He doesn't quite walk yet, but he tries. So, the other night he was uh, actually tried to walk and let go of the coffee table at Nanny's house and hit his mouth and his head. It was really scary. He's okay though, you guys. Um, but it was really scary. Stopped drinking soda yesterday. Went strong for most of the day until we got to uh, John's dad's house. And we had dinner with him, and that's all um, everyone drank was a Pepsi. So, today, fresh start, no soda, uh, only water, and I'm going to try to fit in a workout today, actually, if Connor naps pretty well. And, because it's hard to do um, when he's awake, and, um... Yeah, and then I'll probably film, if I get super into it, I'll film in the kitchen videos with weight loss recipes and stuff. I love watermelon, my favorite fruit. Um, bananas, and look at the bananas in comparison to this banana keeper. Seriously? <laughs> but anyways, hopefully, I'll eventually I'll find some bananas that will fit into this for his diaper bag. But bananas, I got some kiwis. And I also got two cartons of raspberries. Also last night for $12.50, I found this um, like little jumper, romper, whatever little outfit at Walmart. And it says Go Big Blue, Big Blue Nation, UK Wildcats, you know, that kind of thing. I'm so sorry, um, but we're number one in the nation right now. And it's so exciting. Um, hopefully we can pull through a win and uh win it all and uh hopefully our team doesn't get lazy with some because sometimes they do when we make it to the final and uh yeah i'm not rubbing it in anybody's face or anything but if your team lost um, but go big blue say hi <laughs> I'm going to start rubbing dinner. It's not the healthiest way to start weight loss, but I'm not going to take it to an extreme where I can't really uh, enjoy some things. But I'm going to be doing portion control, so that comes in handy. And uh, I'm not going to waste like the meat and stuff we already have. And so, we're having the thin pork chops. I'm going to marinate them in a little bit of marinade, cheddar broccoli rice, and mixed veggies. And another thing that I would really like to get into is uh, a cleaning regimen, like a weekly cleaning regimen, like daily stuff. And I just kind of like clean, like as I go, like every day, like I pick up in every room and things like that. And some days you don't get to certain areas because it's kind of overwhelming with a child. Um, especially if, you know, you got dishes that, you know, need to be washed. Um, he needs to be fed and put down. 
you know, you need to shower, you know, you have to pick and choose, like, you're going to do laundry, you're going to shower while the baby naps, you know, things like that, so, um, you know, it just gets hectic sometimes, so I'd like to start, like, a cleaning regimen, um, because for the most part, I just keep picked up, you know, sweep every day kind of things, and those are, will continue to be daily things, but I'd like, like, say, um, Sunday to be a free day, because we go to church, um, for the most part, anyways, um, not every Sunday, but at least every other Sunday, anyways, um, so I'd like Sunday to be free, and then, like, Monday just to be, like, a, um, free day, but you just kind of catch up, it's a catch-up day, like, you catch up, I've been looking at a bunch of regimens, and then, like, Tuesday, laundry day, so today is Tuesday, I'm gonna do laundry today, Wednesday, deep clean the entire bathroom, and I mean, like, aside from doing your regular pickup stuff, I mean, like, really deep clean, like, do all the mirrors, you know, clean out your shower, you know, the toilet, deep clean the toilet, things like that, like, I usually end up wiping the toilet down every single day, anyways, but some days it gets left undone, but those wasn't time for it, you know, so I'd like to start a regimen to make sure everything gets deep cleaned at least once a week, like, I mean, really deep cleaned, um, then, like, say, Thursday, um, deep clean kitchen, but, you know, you have to do dishes every day, um, but you get what I'm saying, like, um, if you have any, like, cleaning, um, like, your tips for, like, regimens and weekly things, like, let me know in the comments below. I'm having a late breakfast, it's almost lunchtime, but sometimes as a mommy you forget to eat. I'm afraid it's bad for my teeth. Try Chris 3D White. Chris 3D White Diamond Strong Toothpaste and Rinse. Gently whiten and fortify weak spots. Use together for two times stronger and new. Chris 3D White. For a love that can endure any fashion trend, Duke's family only feeds him eyes. With two times the meat than other leading brands, it helps keep him strong from tiara to toenail. Just one of many items formulas to keep love strong. <laughs> I just got done filming this nail tutorial. It's really cute. It's a spring design. So I'll look forward to that, ladies. And Connor's getting ready to eat his breakfast. And then we're going to go pick up Aiden. Um, and maybe uh, run into the Dollar General. Uh, pick up a few things. but don't let go on this floor. That's For good. dinner, I'm making this uh, fettuccine. It's the Alfredo um, kind. It's just these little Nord pasta size. I'm going to be adding shrimp to that. And so I've got my stuff ready for that. Fixing these shrimps up 
with a little bit of butter. I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic powder to give it some more flavor. And then once all this is done and the noodles are done, I'm going to just combine them. Dinner's done. So here's the pasta with the shrimp and breadstick. And I'm sure this is going to be delicious. Connor's having a little snack. He's eating bananas. We just got back from the women's meeting at church. <laughs> He's supporting our boys. We're in the Kentucky Wildcat gear, which we won't show. Just wanted to share a few things that I found um, some good deals and just something new and from time to time like I will not spend money on anything just like Connor or just what we need for the house and then there's other times like here lately you'll notice my vlogs I just been in a splurge mood and I just feel like shopping so I'm gonna film a clothing haul and that's Connor throwing his toys around. Um, but I'm going to film a clothing haul. And uh, I found a lot of good pl pieces um, from like various places. Kmart, um, the Family Dollar even. Um, and I've re-updated like I've updated my spring and summer clothing um, drastically. I love the pieces that I found. I even got some stuff from Walmart. So I'm going to film a clothing haul so you guys can look forward to that. And, um, I found this at the Family Dollar, and it's a tablecloth, and I'm going to use this as a backdrop. I think it's perfect for spring. I'm going to take the butterflies down and save that for summer, because to me it's more summery, um, in the brightness. And this is perfect for spring, $3.50, and if you're wondering, I get the, um, oblong, 52 inches by 70 inches. And this goes perfect for backdrop, and I just hang it from the ceiling. I love this. Oh, before I forget, four days running, and I've showered and bathed Connor, done dishes, and they're still intact, ladies. Love it. Anyways, at Walmart, I found all this for a dollar each. Uh, my favorite scent, Mold Cider. Dollar each. Normally two. And I picked up the Mandarin Pumpkin Spice, which is really nice. And it's a limited edition, also a dollar. And then they had these two dollar fall scented candles for a dollar each. I couldn't help it. I splurged four dollars on some waxes and a candle. Say hi, Bubby. Hi. It's <laughs> <laughs> playing with a flashlight. Trying to get to the dirty dishes. <sighs> I hate doing dishes. Got to though. Thankful that we were able to eat. Always thank God that you have dishes to wash because it meant you ate. What's it doing? Whoop. 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 Just got up from the longest nap. Uh, John, the baby, and I all slept for like three hours. 
Well, actually, Connor's still asleep. He has a really long day. So, um, John went to watch um, one of his friends. Uh, they're in a band. They, they're they playing tonight. He went to go watch them uh, play a few songs and come home. And uh, I'm just going to have some dinner. And uh, these have been in the freezer. I've been salivating over them. They're just boneless wings. And they're delicious. After I eat, we're going to go watch um, Kentucky play. They just started, but um, we're going to go to Nanny's and watch at least um, the second half to the end. Just because that's when it really gets intense. Look who's awake. Hi, Bobby. Today, I am reorganizing my China Glaze nail polish. I made a video on this. It's a spice rack. Um, do it yourself video. So, I will try to remember to link that below if anyone's interested. And, um, yeah, so it's able to hold two layers you know, a back one and a front one in each one. And I haven't actually counted how many each little shelf holds, but there's just three little shelves. And this excludes, like, my magnetic nail polish and, um, the crackle polishes from China Glaze. I have them in a separate bin, but they won't fit up here anyway. So, what I'm doing is I'm putting all the glitters in a double row up here. And then I'm going to start color coding the other ones. And I just have an array of, like, China Glazes and stuff just spread out all over the place. And... Connor's watching Veggie Tales, so I'm trying to utilize my time. He's in his walker watching Veggie Tales. <laughs> I'm all done organizing my China Glaze nail polish rack, and let's see, three, six, ten. Uh, each row holds ten polishes. They're double rowed, and <clears throat> I own 99 China Glaze nail polishes. They're not all on the shelf, obviously. Uh, I have a separate container with glitters and crackle polishes in there. So the top row is just two glitters that I use quite often. A white nail polish that I use quite often. And all the ombre kits that I own. So that's got like the teal one, pink one, there's a purple one and a gray one back there. Then I have last year's, I can't remember if it's summer or spring collection, but these are like neon -y pastel colors. And the counterparts to those are in the back, and they're jelly polishes, which I don't use near as often. But these are gorgeous. Here is the uh, one year summer collection. It has like this uh, Celtic Sun, um, Lifeguard, whatever that one's called. Uh, the Sun Worshipper, Flip Flop Fantasy, there's Pool Party back there, and a few other neon ones that belong uh, right around this collection. And then down here, for Audrey, most everyone owns that one. It's probably the first polish you picked up from China Glaze. It's so hyped up. And then you just go down through there, just random China Glaze polishes. And back there, just a couple glitters that are just really pretty and, uh some holographic polishes in the back there there it is done next up i'm gonna start working on this one i want all the clean colors gone but i haven't decided what polish brand i want to put back up there so, and then there's all my minis and there's just a random miss
Yay! Yay! Let's go! all the clean color nail polishes out of this rack and I picked my favorite LA Colors nail polishes color coded them and my two favorite glitters just random wet and wild and oily but so my favorite brightest cream LA Colors nail polishes so, so now I'll probably use them more because they're out in the open <laughs> I was trying to organize like some candle stuff so I found this in the cabinet I didn't forget about it or nothing but I just felt like using my older burner the other one I was using was a Scentsy one this is just from the local free flea market but uh it's so much prettier than the Scentsy one that I own it's beautiful so, I can't remember if I mentioned in another video like I counted all the items that I purged and it was 200 items out of my makeup collection that included the nail polish, I believe. And at this point, I still have all the nail polishes. They didn't sell. So, there is this uh, close family friend. She has a daughter. And she's 18. And she loves nail art just as much as I do. And loves all things like this. So, I'm going to give her this box. And I've added several more nail polishes. There are over 80 nail polishes in the box. And I've even been going through and adding more makeup items. So, I know she will enjoy this box. And she can share it with her friends if she'd like as well. But, I'm really impressed with the amount of nail polishes I'm able to get rid of. Even though I still have, I know, ugh, it's a sickening number, but well over 600 polishes. But to be fair, I've been collecting since I was 16, and I'm 27, so to be fair, you know, 
Don't rip me a new one in the comments. Anyways, tons of stuff in here. And, uh, yeah. So that's going on. Connor's snacking. Like these little puffs. I usually get the um, Gerber Graduates ones. And I grab Blueberry. I got them in Parents' Choice. They're just as good. Just a little cheaper. You snacking. You snacking. You snacking, Bobby? I'm going to have to move our water. He keeps spending down and uh, pulling waters out of it. And then, like, distributing them. There's, like, some around the corner, too. You can't even see. And then I've been trying to clean. And as you can tell, every corner of the house, under his playpen, under the wood burner. He's like a little tornado. As fast as mommy can pick it up, he messes it up. <laughs> nom nom nom. Uh oh. Sneak peek at a new beauty haul. Found lots of awesome stuff at Kmart. And I was so excited to find some of the items. Um, especially these Wet n Wild palettes. Connor's teething again, so I gave him a uh, frozen popsicle to help soothe his gums. I know he has uh, one coming in at the top. Oh, the tree. A is for A. B. B is for cat. Red. The red ape swings up a yellow. The yellow cat climbs up up the tree. I almost forgot last night, uh, the Walking Dead, you know, season finale and WrestleMania. John asked Connor, said, uh, now Connor, do you want to watch WrestleMania or would you want to watch the Walking Dead or do you want to watch the Walking Dead? And he goes, Mama. So I guess he wanted to watch the Walking Dead because that's what Mama watches. And that was an intense episode. I won't give away anything that happens, but wow. But after a bunch of boring episodes, I was really pleased to see it. I'm not sure if anyone's interested in this stuff, but I enjoy watching purge videos, so I'm still going to show everything I'm purging and put it in the box. But it's a salt scrub, so that's going in the basket. Uh, this is an acne spot medication, which I do have a pimple right now, but most of the time when I do get pimples, it's um, one on my chin. Uh, either close to or on like around my period so um, I don't really need this my sister might want it two packages of these Dollar Tree makeup wipes they're very thin and it's very difficult to remove makeup with them in my opinion so I don't like them they're going some St. Ives skin renewing it's a collagen elastin lotion I use this one to do P90 and um, I think it had good results you know I mean it, you have to use it every single day faithfully um, for to see anything but I like the cocoa butter stuff better that's for like tummy like the tummy butter stuff so I'm gonna let this go um this body fantasies I love this scent the romance and dreams one it's a body cream but I don't use a lot of body creams I usually stick with one cream and usually it's a cocoa butter one I mean I just just stuck in my ways um i'm getting um giving away this ps i love you bath and body works so i place a lot of orders online well not anymore really but because i have several sprays still left without being able to smell them just based on the description alone and this one's just way too strong like it's headache city for me peach sparkle i did use quite a bit it's of a nice scent but i'm over it um, this is Calgon. It's a uh, perfect bliss. I only um, sprayed this a couple times. It's also a very strong scent. Uh, Turquoise. So is this one from Calgon. So that one's going. Maybe my sisters will really enjoy this stuff. Um, Fiji Passion Fruit from Bath and Body Works. It does smell good, but it's a little too like 
I don't know, like a limey. I, I don't know. I don't really like it because of that. And this one too, Rays of Sun or uh, Citrus. It's good, but it's uh, overwhelming citrus scent, which is says name. And the dogs are going wild. I take chocolate for vegetable 